Hello, my name is Anya, and I'm a registered dietitian with Fraser Health in British Columbia. Today we'll be talking about tube feeding at home. In this video, we will walk you through the steps to feed yourself using the gravity method. Please refer to the booklet provided by your dietitian that includes information specific to you. To make the process easier, gather all of your supplies before you begin your feeding. You will need one syringe, a measuring cup, a container filled with room temperature tap water, your formula, an IV pole, a feeding bag with tubing attached, and a small towel to cover your lap to catch any drips or small spills. Wash your hands before you begin feeding yourself. This will help keep your supplies clean and prevent the transfer of potentially harmful bacteria that could make you sick. Measure the recommended amount of formula into the measuring cup. Ensure the roller clamp is closed. Pour the formula into the feeding bag and remove the air by gently squeezing the top before you replace the cap. Hang it on your IV pole. Next, prime your feeding bag tube. This means you let the formula run through the tube to remove air before you feed yourself. Remove the cap from the end of the tube and slowly open the roller clamp. You will see the formula drip into the drip chamber and fill the tube. When the formula reaches the end of the tube, close the roller clamp to stop the flow. Position yourself to be upright during feeding. Whether you sit in a comfortable chair or at a kitchen table, the idea is not to be lying flat. If you are in bed, use pillows to prop yourself up to at least a 30 degree angle. Try not to slouch or lie flat, as this could result in formula going up into your esophagus or even into your lungs. Place the towel on your lap. Flushing your G-tube before feeding yourself helps to clear anything that might be blocking it. Using your syringe, draw up the recommended amount of water, or at least 30 milliliters, from the container. Clamp or pinch the G-tube with your fingers to prevent stomach content from leaking out. Uncap the feeding port and insert the tip of the syringe. Release the clamp or unpinch the G-tube before gently pressing the plunger to push the water through. Once again, clamp or pinch your G-tube before removing the syringe from the feeding port and replace the cap. Clamp or pinch your G-tube before you remove the cap of your feeding port. Connect the primed feeding bag tube. Unclamp or unpinch the G-tube. Slowly open the roller clamp to begin feeding. As you adjust the roller clamp, count the number of drips in the drip chamber over 30 seconds. Your dietitian will give you instructions to help you determine which rate or speed is best for you. When your feeding is complete, clamp or pinch your G-tube, disconnect the feeding bag tube, and cap your feeding port. The final step is to flush your G-tube once more to clear it of all the formula. This will help prevent a blockage. Follow the same steps as you did to flush your G-tube before you started feeding. Your feeding is now complete. All that is left to do is clean and put away your supplies and remain upright for at least 30 minutes. If you experience any issues with your feeding, contact your dietitian or your doctor.